Good afternoon, Falcons. Here we are in Photoshop, and I'm showing the two characters that I have drawn, and I'm comparing them. And um, the first thing that you notice about these two is that this one has a white background, and this one has a checked background or a clear background. And if that is causing you problems, um, Let's go ahead and add a layer that we're going to use fill to fill it with white. Click OK. And now we're going to drag it under the color and you have white. And if that helps you, you should do that because you could always if you needed to go back to the drawing for some reason, pull it up and turn it on. You'll also notice I have a layer here for color. On your computer file, you want to use the add layer icon on the bottom to add a layer. You're going to double click it and call it color. And let's go ahead and label the line while we're at it. I don't actually have anything here so it's going to get deleted. In the color window and uh, let's just look at one character at a time. We're going to consolidate all to tabs and I have selected red. Be sure that when you come to the color window, not only do you move the arrows, but you actually click on the color that you want. You want to see it here at the top. I'm going to grab my brush tool, and my brush tool has hard and soft brushes, and um, these can be used in different ways. The hard brush is very much like a Sharpie, straight edge, but the soft brush is a little bit different. So down here at the bottom, I also have some pressure opacity controls. And this is for the stylus specifically. So when I select a pressure control and I come over to my machine, if I'm touching it very lightly, I'm going to see very light colors. And this is great for blending. If I push harder, 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 harder. Oh, shoot. I also opened up the size control. See, I was pushing really hard in the middle and I got that very, very dark Command Z, Command Z. So you have a choice. If you want to work light, that's great. If you want to work, let's get a smaller brush. And let's go ahead and get the stylus and we're going to do, oh, let's pick another color. How about a purple? Okay, and so if I'm using my stylus, I can blend that purple and the blue very nicely. And as I layer it on top, I put more purple on, it gets darker and darker. And I have a very soft look. 